Hey, it's Monkey Ball P, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make free ringtones for your iPhone using your own music. Now, there are a few ways to do this, but the method I'm going to show you is probably the simplest method, and it only requires you to use iTunes. Uh, but you still need to make sure you follow these steps very carefully, or you may encounter problems when you're trying to get your ringtones on your phone. First step is to open up iTunes, go to your music, and look for the song that you would like to make a ringtone out of. So for me, I'm going to be using the classic Double Dragon intro theme. Uh, so what you're going to want to do before you make it into a ringtone is pick a 30 second clip uh, of the song because if you use anything greater than 30 seconds it's not going to work. So how we're going to do this is uh, right click on the file, go to get info, and go to the options tab. Now you're going to want to make sure the start time and stop time boxes are ticked. And so for simplicity I'm just going to pick uh, the first 30 seconds of the song. So I'm just going to put the start time, leave it as zero, and the stop time to be... 0, 30, and just hit OK. The next step is to right click your ringtone song and select create AAC version. This is going to take a few seconds, it should be very quick. And you're going to see a new file up here under with the exact same name as your ringtone song, only now the time is going to be 30 seconds or whatever time interval you set. Make sure that you see that time interval or else it's not going to work. Um, so what you're going to do now is click and drag the new file to your desktop. And finally you're going to delete the 30 second clip, but this is really important. You want to make sure that this is gone from your iTunes library. So just hit delete, remove, and move to recycling bin. After you delete the 30 second clip, uh, right click on the original file, go back to get info, and back to the options tab, and uncheck the start time and stop time so the song resumes and plays the full song in iTunes and hit OK and close out of iTunes. Make sure you close out of it. So looking at the file that you dragged onto the desktop you should see the name as Double Dragon Intro Theme dot M4A or whatever else your song name is. You need to make sure you can see the M4A part. Um, if you can't make sure you check out the links in the video description on how to show file extensions. Um, so what we're going to do is right click and hit rename and change the .m4a extension to .m4r and hit enter and it'll ask you if you want to change the file name and just say yes and now you'll see the icon change to the iTunes symbol with ring under it after you change the file extension to .m4r double click the file to open it up in iTunes As you've done everything correctly, it should open up and be in the ringtone section under your libraries. Next, select your iPhone under devices and go to the ringtones tab and make sure sync ringtones is checked. Then just hit apply and your ringtone should sync to your iPhone. Alright, so the very last step is to just actually set the ringtone on your iPhone and all you have to do is go into settings. sounds and go to ringtones and your custom ringtone should appear under customs and all you have to do is set it listen to the preview make sure it's right sounds good and exit out and and that's it uh, there you have it your custom free ringtone and as always if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and don't forget to rate five stars and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful thank you very much for watching